what I want to point out is, is the left today is happy to dredge out Marx, is happy to self-identify itself as socialist. When is the right going to be willing, or the free marketeers, put aside right, left, when are those who promote free markets going to be willing, willing to cite and quote and advocate for the greatest defender of capitalism in human history? When are they going to bring out Ayn Rand, the only consistent defender of capitalism in human history? When are they going to bring out Ayn Rand, the one moral defense of capitalism that exists? When are they going to figure out their attempt to use Christianity, their attempt to use altruism, their attempt to use collectivism, their attempt to use conventionality to defend capitalism has failed? When are they going to have their balls, their guts, to actually revert to the thinker who can actually defend capitalism? The left jumps on the opportunity to quote Marx jumps on identifying itself as socialist. And they know what socialism is. Octavia Cortez knows what socialism is. She intends to implement it on a grand scale. You know, it might be closer to fascism, but at the end of the day, it's going to be statism, government intervention in the economy, redistribution of wealth. She knows exactly what she's doing. Elizabeth Warren knows exactly what she's doing. When, when are those defenders of the free market going to embrace capitalism? Not the mixed economy, but capitalism, real capitalism, real free market, free of government intervention, free of government regulation, free of government controls. When are they going to embrace that and embrace the thinker who most represents laissez-faire capitalism, who most defended laissez-faire capitalism, who most inspired people to think about laissez-faire capitalism? And that's Ayn Rand. Peggy Noonan's no fan of Ayn Rand. Donald Trump certainly isn't. Stand up for a real self-interest-based defense of capitalism. And until we're willing to do that, until there are enough of us, until businessmen who are still respected in this country are willing to stand up and not be mealy-mouthed about their wealth and not be mealy-mouthed about the system that allowed them to create that wealth. But businessmen standing up proudly and declaring that they built it, that it's theirs, that they don't owe anybody anything that is unchosen, that they do not have moral duties, that they, they stand by the system of laissez-faire capitalism consistently and they stand by the ethics of self-interest consistently and that they admire Ayn Rand. If you had a hundred or a thousand John Allison's, John Allison, the former BB, uh, CEO of BB&T, then yeah, then, it, then the battle would be over. Then the left would be crushed. We need those businessmen. But to have those businessmen, we need the intellectuals. And if we have the intellectuals and we have the businessmen, then we'll get the politicians. So it doesn't surprise me that politicians are not advocating for this, cannot stand up to the socialists. We get the politicians we deserve.